first at six devastation in one Michigan community. These are aerial photos from Michigan State Police showing the damage from a deadly tornado that touched down in Gaylord, Michigan yesterday. These images are of the Nottingham Forest Mobile Home Park, which was among the first sites hit by that storm. Authorities say two people who lived at the mobile park died during the storm. Michigan's Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist is in Gaylord tonight surveying that damage. This comes after Governor Gretchen Whitmer declared a state of emergency in the area last night, making further state resources available. Electrical outages have affected thousands of people in the area, and some roads are still closed due to down poles and other wreckage. In a news conference today, Gilchrist offered the state support to the people impacted by the tornado and said help is already coming from volunteers. One thing that's true about the people of Michigan is that we have each other's back. We've seen people already uh, step up, not just for their family members. We've seen, we're going to see volunteers from every single corner of Michigan are going to come here. And um, as, as the commissioner said, by the time everybody gets here, the, the local community might have already taken care of all the business. But the truth is we're not going to turn our backs and we're going to make sure that uh, folks have everything that they need so that we can be successful as a community coming forward. News 8 was there today as people cleaned up and tried to regroup after that tornado. Byron Tullifson is in Gaylord tonight and talked to some of the people impacted by the damage. There is unfathomable damage in Gaylord, Michigan after a tornado tore through the city yesterday. Homes and businesses are destroyed right behind me. This Hobby Lobby, the roof completely collapsed. Damage all over in this building shared with the Jimmy John's crews are on scene, uh, removing trees that have fallen over. Power lines have fallen on all across the street. The tornado hit the city around 345 yesterday afternoon. The National Weather Service says the tornado was an EF3 with max winds of 140 miles an hour. At least two people have died. They were both found in this mobile home park and they were both in their 70s. 44 more people are injured. Outside this Culver's, a truck was completely flipped upside down. The man towing it, Joey Poppenhagen, says his friend had borrowed the truck from the dealership. They were taking it for a test drive when the tornado tore through Gaylord. Joey works for a towing business nearby. Owned by his fiance's parents, he says it was severely damaged by the tornado. We just went there and finished up cleaning up all the cars and the building. The roofs ripped great up. Uh, you know, windows are blown out and just about the same as everybody else. So Joey comes into town every day and he says he never imagined something like this happening here in his wildest dreams. According to the state's website, Michigan only averages 15 tornadoes a year. It's very rare for this type of area. Cleanup is continuing today and crews are picking up the pieces. Governor Whitmer has declared a state of emergency here in Gaylord. We will have much more on the cleanup in the damage here in Gaylord at 10 and 11. In Gaylord, Byron Tollefson, News 8.